Oh, you know what? Underage girls. My thing. Good morning, everyone. Let me hear y'all say Ovi Hall. Today's another day, another episode. You know what I'm saying? Very excited to show you guys a pretty much a, the most basic day imaginable. But it's all good, though, because this is the calm before the storm, as they would say. I mentioned yesterday, I, I gave a little teaser, if you know what I mean. I said that Sunday, specifically. For you guys, it would be Monday, since I'm uploading on the next day. But Monday would be a fire video. All right, take that how you will. You can make theories or whatever. Think about it first, all right? If someone gets it right, man, I'll honestly be surprised. I'm not even gonna lie. If someone guesses it in the comments, I genuinely give you a hundred bucks. Like, I'll Venmo you a hundred bucks, like, right now. I can guarantee you no one can, though, so. But I'm serious about the hundred bucks. Like, someone put it down in the comments. If you can guess it, I could, I'll actually give you a hundred bucks. Venmo. Fire video. You can take that term as you will, but I'm not giving you any more. For the weather forecast today, I always like to check the forecast just in case, because that depends on whether or not my day is gonna be really loud or really quiet if the weather's bad then the dogs are gonna have to stay inside and that means my day's gonna be loud but you know what today's not that day ladies and gentlemen oh, oh my god this weekend's gonna be wild boys friday 93 you calling? yeah i said i would never fall unless it's you i fall into i found you If I couldn't be strong, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? Alright ladies and gentlemen, who am I kidding bro? I, I literally just filmed that part right now, I'm about to leave, but um, let's do a little bit of a talk. What are we talking about? I actually have no idea. Is there anything interesting going on in the news right now besides politics that I don't really want to talk about? Here we go. Actually, I wanted to quickly talk about this. I don't want to make this the absolute main thing of this video, but I mean, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a decent part of the video. How hard is it to not talk to minors, bro? You know, I don't normally speak on drama, even though it's not drama. It's literally a crime. I don't normally speak on internet like lore, I guess, too much. Especially, like I said, like the drama stuff. You know, um, I'd hate to even call it drama because it's, it's not. I do want to talk about it a little bit because there seems to be a resurgence of the amount of people that are getting exposed for being a weirdo. A weirdo that's not even in the sense of like just being weird, just being a, a straight up fella. Like in the past few months, I've seen so many exposés on people that, you know, that, that talk to minors and worse, even engage in sexual activities with minors. I'm talking about you, Cody Co. Crazy stuff. And of course, all of these are just alleged. Just save myself from a lawsuit. All these alleged predators have been exposed talking to a minor. And as I mentioned, some engage in sexual activities with them. Of course, we had the big one this year. We had Drake. And then just very recently, we had Dr. Disrespect, which is like, bro, come on, man. I always kind of thought that Drake was a weirdo anyway. He was kind of a walking red flag to begin with. And of course, seeing the whole 17-year-old situation, it just doubled down on that idea. So I'm glad that it got dunked on by the whole world for it. Because, you know, you, you know, if you, if you mess with minors, you deserve to be clowned on, definitely. More than that, to be honest, but that's besides the point. Dr. Disrespect, however, that one's heartbreaking. So I guess for, this is just a little summary of it. You guys can read into it. I'm sure you can find 300 videos on YouTube right now about it. But for those of you that don't know, Dr. Disrespect is one of the more respected like streamers. Not anymore, obviously, because I'm talking about him, but he was a huge Twitch streamer. I think he started streaming even when uh, Twitch was called Justin TV. He was at his peak pretty much on Twitch when all of a sudden he just got banned. And I don't know if you guys have seen the famous clip of him like looking at his phone, or I think he was looking at something and then all all of a sudden he's like uh, guys, I gotta, I gotta shut down the broadcast, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Huge controversy because we didn't know exactly why he got banned. He moved on to YouTube, fast forward two years later, still good and everything. And then recently, he got exposed for, wait, let me, let me get the age right. And while I'm searching this, keep in mind, guys, this, this guy's a wife and kids and everything. He's 42 years old and he decided to talk to a minor, allegedly. Like, come on, man. So yeah, there's this uh, really long tweet of Dr. Disrespect responding. I can't find the age of the girl, but I guess I'll kind of summarize this whole tweet that he mentioned 125 million views on his tweet by the way now this is the part that like went crazy were there twitch whisper messages with a nit it, oh, bro i can't speak were there twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017 the answer is yes <laughs> 
Uh, were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed, I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Alright, just bro, okay, just because- Now from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. Great. Why would you even do it in the first place? You have a family, you have a wife, you have kids or a kid, don't matter. You have all these people that look up to you and everything and you decide that, oh, you know what? Underage girls. My thing. Don't take that out of context. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll own my shit but come on man you're 42 three years ago so you were 39 38 whatever so this part's kind of funny uh finally if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think i'm a piece of shit, that's fine but i'm not going anywhere i'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago are you talking like you were like a kid like all those years ago three years ago four years ago five hell ten years ago bro you were over 30 come on man let's take a little bit of accountability dr disrespect let's move on to the next one cody co Kodiko has been recently exposed for, uh, well, not exposed. All this information has been out for years. It just happened to explode just very recently. Cody Ko, one of the most respected commentary YouTubers on YouTube. And also Tana Moja, an internet personality. Pretty huge. He, she said the N-word a couple times back then. So to give you guys a little bit of context, uh, at the time that this thing happened. Cody Ko was, I think, 24 or 25. Tana Mojo was 17. They were at this event. I believe this was in Florida. Cody saw Tana. Apparently, they started making out. And here comes out of left field, actually, Gabby Hanna. Being Loki and MVP, telling Cody Ko that, hey, you probably shouldn't be kissing on her. Probably shouldn't be advancing any further because Tana's 17. You know what? Props on her, but it didn't work. It did not work. Cody still kept going. Apparently, he engaged in uh, uh, copulation copulation or fornication however you want to call it and in all these years past it's been pretty much a buried situation and whenever tana would bring it up since she's kind of like a hated youtuber and a, and a hated internet personality no one really believes her so throughout the years nothing's really happened it's been it's been kind of just like left in the shadow realm you know what i mean until now i believe the conversation started in reddit the main point that was pretty much brought up is the idea that uh we discredit tana mojo coming out as a victim because you know she's like one of the more hated internet personalities we're making some progress we're actually like you know standing up against that and they're, they're believing it and the good thing is that you know cody ko's actually being held accountable for it you know what i mean he's getting dunked on He's getting dunked on hard. Huge dubs on us, but the thing is, right, Cody doesn't really care. He doesn't care at all. He has not posted a response. He's been DJing. Fun fact. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast. I'm not gonna say Ava or refer to him as she slash her. Not because I'm anti-LGBTQ, but only because of the fact that this happened prior to the transition. And funny enough, EDP445 was kind of a prophet on this because he was talking about this like way before this whole thing blew up. Just kind of ironic how EDP was the one that said it, you know. For those of you that don't know who he is, part of the Mr. Beast crew, he's been on the Mr. Beast channel for years. So according to sources, uh, Chris Tyson is a huge fan of uh, Lollicon, but that's not the only only thing. The main victim that everyone's been talking about is an individual named Lava. I just hate pedophiles. That's why I'm voiced just the passion. You know what I mean? I think we've seen this before. The conversations are just not the conversations you should be having with a underage child. From what I've seen, it's not the craziest, but that doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, Chris was still talking to an underage child. Honestly, if you're an adult and you got talks with like a 14, 13 year old and you're not related to them somehow and they're not like a family member, red flags should start raising. At best, yellow flags flag should start raising you know what i mean he's the most recent person that's getting exposed for being a pdf file allegedly of course whatever the main point of this part of the video how hard is it to not be talking to a minor man who's gonna be exposed next pewdiepie jacks films feeling like p did it oh. hey hey what's up you thought <laughs> if you want if you want it girl come and get it all this is it Oh, 
feel good. There was someone out there in the world that would be more qualified to try some Indian food because they got the taste buds of Gordon Ramsay. That's me. I have the greatest taste buds of all time. I can taste anything. So I said yesterday that I was going to try this for the video. However, I didn't get the chance to do that. So today is going to be the day where I'm going to be trying this. Let's keep in mind this whole thing right here. This is a, a chicken tikka chicken butter masala sauce. Okay, great. Chicken butter masala from Walmart, market side brand. And it's about, not, it's about like nine bucks or something like that. It's one of those meals where it, it's all ready to go. You just have to put it together and microwave it. So at Walmart, the two brands that I know that do this kind of like similar thing is Kevin's and market side these two are like the ones that i that i know the cool thing about this one specifically i don't know if it goes for like all the market side foods this one actually has a little bit of burnt marks on the chicken they cooked it they cooked it let me tell you the kevin's brand doesn't do that so it might not be the most viable information but point is i'm gonna play some mr beast in the background just for the attention deficit kids mr beast just gonna try this and see how it goes you know what i mean you know what i mean it's this amount of meat decent amount i'm sure i could find better deals you know what i mean like i could cook this myself but you know for the those nights that you don't have as much time this is like a good balance of decent price and it's also decently healthy give it a shot i also got the botan rice that i bought from yesterday let's try it thumbnail time this 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 is delicious there's a certain flavor that i look for when it comes to indian food some curries are very tomatoey and some curries are more on the creamy side i like the creamy side more we're not beating the case of this one. And the thing is, too, it's not just creamy. There's also tomato-y on there. So it, it's a mix of both, which is honestly really good. It is butter masala, so I, I guess it makes sense. You know, th it's a mix of both. Chicken tikka masala is more on the, uh, the tomato-y side, and butter chicken's more on the creamy side, you know what I mean? I like that good mix. It's nice. Usually for the tikka masala, the zest would kind of creep in on me, and then it, 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 keeps, it keeps going. It keeps getting zestier. It keeps getting more James Charles, but um, for this one, honestly, it's like, it's a good balance. Oh, and by the way, Cassandra, I will fix the fire alarm. I think I already fixed it. I'm not entirely sure, but obviously, since it's in a part complex uh, everything's kind of connected together so i can't really change the batteries on it if it's not fixed i'll i'll ask uh, maintenance for it just gonna enjoy this food man this shit this is good all right ladies and gentlemen next part of this video well last part of this video i'm actually gonna be uh, just gonna be organizing all this that i got right here that's so much oh actually that's not it boys yeah even more woohoo while I'm doing this, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit of, like, just the videos, you know what I mean? I actually wanted to ask you guys another question. I've been asking you guys questions a lot recently. Actually, no, before we talk about that, why is it cloudy again? Fishes are fine, by the way, but I was Googling some, like, solutions. One big one that a lot of people were talking about on the subreddit and stuff is a thing called bacteria blooming. And apparently that's a normal thing, so I shouldn't have anything to worry about. Yeah, either way, let's, uh, let's talk about the YouTube here, because I, I actually wanted to ask you guys this, since I got inspired by Cassandra's comment about, like, changing up the format and, like, you know, kind of making my own content, I guess, like, my own style of content. I've been kind of doing a lot of, like, different styles of content recently ranging from the casey neistat style the david dobrik style you know, the mic'd up content style i've already mentioned this but i took your guys's opinion and kind of deduced the fact that you guys could just you guys just want a variety that's honestly what i was gonna do anyway since you know there's definitely some videos that uh need a certain style i'm just gonna go with that you know i'm gonna go with the flow i don't want to stick to one because god that would be boring but the main question i actually wanted to ask you guys is right now in this video specifically i'm kind of changing up the format a little bit with well honestly starting yesterday's video too changing up the format a little bit by using more talking and less like flashy editing i guess specifically talking about the cooking section yesterday normally whenever i do a cooking part of the video i usually kind of talk about like what i'm gonna do next and then do a little montage yesterday i kind of did it a little differently just kind of yapped through the whole thing what do you guys think do you guys think i should do that more do you guys think i should do more montages i don't know if you guys like both of the formats just let me know if you guys like one style of format let me know. I like hearing you guys' opinions. If I get a mixed bag of opinions, I'm just gonna do the variety option and, you know, not stick to a certain script. Also, I wanted to add a little bit onto the Ava Tyson situation or Chris Tyson situation. Apparently, Mr. Beast knew, which adds a whole nother layer to this whole thing, because if Mr. Beast knew, not Mr. Beast ruining his freaking reputation, man. There has been accusations coming from Jake the Viking and also an employee or an ex-employee of Mr. Beast saying that there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes uh in the mr beast production crew or the company in general honestly it's some thought-provoking stuff because you know 
if it, if it is true, you know, let's hear it. From what we've seen, Mr. Beast has had like a very squeaky clean reputation, you know? Aside from a couple of edgy jokes that he made back in the day, but you know what? Man, I made edgy jokes back in the day. It's all good. It's mostly Twitter trying to like get on his ass about that. But it's Twitter, you know? You can't really expect nothing good from them. Like I said earlier, I'm not really the one to mention drama too often on the channel. If you guys look at the second channel, the Alduin 2 channel, prior to me doing this uh, daily vlog series, I actually used to do like moist critical style videos for a little bit around like winter time. Honestly, it was pretty fun just trying to keep up with like all the drama, the recent, you know, whatever. Obviously right now I'm not going to be uploading over there, but if you guys are interested in seeing some moist critical style videos of drama, just <laughs> go ahead and watch it. It's, it's interesting. Another thing I wanted to yap about real quick is my voice. If I can be honest with you guys here, really, you know, for a second, my voice deepening in such a short time is partly on purpose, but partly not. I think it just came naturally. I just started to become even more monotone. I think that's just the way it is. Also partially me not liking my old voice, because if you guys compare my, uh, my voice from like the beginning of this vlog series to now, it's, it's, it's night and day. Sometimes I look back at my old videos and I'm like, God, I hate my voice, bro. It's, and I'm at a point right now where it's like, I can't even go back to that voice anymore. This is my natural voice at this point, you know? Honestly, I like my voice now, man. It doesn't sound squeaky or anything, whatever. It just sounds normal. A lot of you guys do say that I, <laughs> I've heard this a couple of times. It's a good radio voice. Very interesting take. You guys think I would have a good radio voice? For the next hour, there will be no commercial breaks. Only hits from 107.5 Hits FM is my little radio voice. Such a yapper, bro. Jesus Christ. Which, by the way, when I put my fish tank in initially, I actually had to move all my shorts and stuff because I thought that I was going to place the, the fish tank here. Obviously, the fish tank is right there, so I'm just going to put the shorts back here now. Heartbreak is one thing, my ego's enough. All right, I still have a lot of stuff to do here, but I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Um, I, I think that's pretty much it, so... Uh, I'm done yapping now. You guys can be done listening to me yap, all right? Leave your opinions down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm just gonna continue doing different styles. I'm, you know, maybe tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna feel like doing tomorrow, but it might just be a normal Casey video. Tomorrow might be kind of a slower paced video. Who knows? Just experimenting. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bah. Turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key, and my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.